I was contacted by Daryl Wilkes with a design of a, what looked to me like a radical new fin concept. Daryl approached me to see whether I could help with the optimization of the fin to increase the amount of uh, lift that the fin could produce and to reduce the drag of the fin through the water. I have some computer-aided engineering tools known as computational fluid dynamic simulation. Through the process of this work, I've performed around about nine or ten different iterations on this design to optimise its performance and compared its performance to a thruster setup. The fin system is pushing the board upwards, helping the surface stand up faster, and enables an easier takeoff and improves the maneuverability in the surf as well. These drag forces are the things that slow you down when you're in a board on the water, and that's basically where most of the drag is coming from, from the fin system. With the thruster set up, the total lift force that's generated for somebody that's about 80 kilos, you're looking at about one-fifth their weight of uplift force. What I found when I did the analysis was that the total amount of lift force that's generated with the Q-fin design is in fact now about 60 kilograms, which for an 80 kilogram person is about now three quarters of their body weight. In this second plot of the thruster setup, the computer can calculate that we have 12 kilograms worth of total drag force. With this setup for the QFIN, the optimised design, we found that the hydrodynamic drag in exactly the same conditions, one metre wave size compared to a thruster setup, was 30% less drag than what you would see with a thruster. So that's going to lead you to a fin which has twice the vertical lift of a thruster type setup with about 25% less hydrodynamic drag. The quantum fin, the fastest, most versatile, maneuverable fin on the planet.